What's up YouTube, back with another video. It's your boy, Magic. And today, I'm gonna show you how to make them kicks hit. Like, mm, you know, ouch. Most knock my cap off, no cap. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make them kicks kick though. So let's talk about it. All right, fam, here we go. So I start my beat off. Listen, here's the beat. I'm just gonna play it like this. And I'm gonna show you how to, we're gonna get into that kick. Here you go. I'll show you guys how to do that later. Okay, first of all, let's be honest. That kick ain't kicking. Let's make it kick. All right, first thing I do, I go to uh, the source of the sound. Okay, piano roll. I turn up all the velocities. Make sure it's, it's at the highest velocity, uh, I mean, highest volume that it can be. To make sure I got all the dynamics that I can get while I can get them. We're gonna play it, but you're gonna, but you're gonna sound to everything, just play uh, just this pattern. I know you're thinking, okay, kick, kick, and it's kicking hard, but yeah, it's close to distortion too, so let's fix that. So what I do now, I go to the channel rack. Uh, I already got it routed to a kick channel, uh, so that's good, and let's make sure that we, okay. First of all, we want a little clean signal going coming in. Let's do that first. I want my kick hitting to around, hitting around twelve before I even mess with this knob here. So let's go here. Let's reduce that. Let's go to the master because we're gonna put plugins on it. I want to hit around negative about twelve dB, twelve to fifteen dB. Make sure you listen to studio monitors. Uh, it can be these, any any studio monitor or headphones with good studio referencing. Now that we got the kick kicking, uh, the first thing I like to do is go to our mixer channel that I routed it to. Let's go to the mixer. And the first thing I like to do is EQ. I like to take out things, reduce things I don't like and keep things I do like. So. I'm gonna keep bypassing it and by, uh, I'm bypassing so you can hear it, the difference. We got a little, we got a little bit more thump in it right now. You probably noticed, cause what I did, I boosted that that this area here, which is where I feel like the initial kick was hitting, punching hard. So, and I reduced some of this low end because you're not gonna really hear that in the kick. I mean, that's that's more for your 808s and subs, and a lot of this high end intelligent information. I uh, took out because I don't want to just uh, comp compete with my snare or my hi-hat in that area. But um, yeah, and next thing I do, this is a stock plug-in. To make my kick it hard, I use a, um, a soft clipper. Bring up the threshold. I don't know if you guys can hear the difference, but I will take it off and on unless you hear it. Next thing I like to do is add on the smack attack. I, you can use the Fruity, Fruity Soft Clipper, which is a, a stock plug-in, but I kind of like, I feel like this does more, it does more work than I need to do on my end as far as trying to get that kick that initially hit hard. As you can see, I boost up the attack, you can kind of hear it. Got a little thump here.
just want to bring a little bit a little little dynamics it's a pretty much a transient shaper uh it's a great plug in to use shout out to waves man and this is what and we're gonna start from the beginning again where's what we before we added anything let's go back to what it originally sounded like do we turn that we turn that into this Can't tell me that don't smack. Simple. I mean, I didn't. I didn't feel like I need much. Now you got your. Now it's hitting around neck nine dB, and then like I said, let's let's do it with the mix. That's it, people. <laughs> I just wanted to show you how to make them kicks kick. I mean, it's simple. I, like I said, if you want me to do another tutorial with just stock plugins and how to get it to sound grittier. Oh, this is how I make it sound grittier. Just add a little. If if you have a way plug in, if you don't, and you can use this uh fastest fruity fast distorter. Let's go back to the pattern. Kind of get a little bot and and just leave it like that, or you just reduce them up. I like to reduce the amount of it. Just a little bit, just add a little bit of you know saturation to it. Your kick, in my opinion. Like I say, if you don't, if like I say, I can do stock, do stock, or I like the one I filter from waves. I'll show you that one too. Or if you have sound tool, I think is um, Tremulator or something like that. Also, boy, that's one of those plugins. That's it's another distorter. But I like to use the one knob um, driver. Just a little distortion to it makes it make a whole bit of a difference in your mix. And you can hear it on computer speakers as well. So yeah. Until the next time, people. Peace.